kingdom unless we're like these guys. Oh, Amen. Right. So you guys are more powerful spiritually than every wise adult in this room. But you still got to listen to mom and dad. <laughs> okay. For the adults, I've given over 2,000 children's services. I've got them all recorded where I did. All, and they all, many of them are in boxes. But my biggest one, my heaviest one was 34 pounds. It's not in a box. The biggest one is right here, kids, and it's not in a box. It's Jack in the box. It's not Jack in the box. <laughs> it's in the box. I'll show you just a bit. But anyway, I'm so glad you're here, and I'm glad I'm here, and I'm glad all the King's kids are here, too. Yeah. You know, we come in different ages, and we're all here, and we're all King's kids. Yeah. Would you say that? I'm a King's kid? I'm a King's kid. Yes, yeah. I am a King's kid. Mm -hmm. And so I want to tell you once upon a time, how about that? Nancy and I, my wife, Nancy left me to go live with Jesus. Where are you? There she is. <laughs> so she's left with Jesus, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And so one day we were on our patio in our backyard <coughs> in Cayucos. And all of a sudden, there came on our backyard a peacock. Can you say peacock? peacock. Wow, that's a big word for little kids, right? Mm -hmm. There's a little peacock. So the peacock came by our pond and uh, <laughs> and so the adults can see it too. And peacocks are really beautiful birds, aren't they? Oh, they're just beautiful, beautiful birds. Now, um, in a little bit, we're going to have um, peacock talk. Now, here's, here's the big deal for little kids. The pretty big bird like this is a boy peacock. The male peacocks, or as the males are. However, the girl peacocks are not as pretty, okay? <laughs> the word peacock's in the Bible three times, where it says that Solomon went and got apes, and, but he brought peacocks back. So I want to talk to you about the peacocks. But uh, the thing I want to talk to you about the key peacocks is... Although it's very beautiful, it was in our backyard. Uh, the one I'm talking to you now, of course it has all these beautiful eyes. My phone's talking to me, because maybe that's Jesus calling, I don't know. Anyway, the point is this, today we're going to talk about Mrs. Peacock. Mrs. Peacock, and so, uh, we need a drum roll, please. <laughs> Was a question? Where did you got that? I got that on the planet. Oh. <laughs> um, so this, this is this is this is the girl peacock, uh, Mrs. Peacock, and um, Mrs. Peacock has got a great story to tell you just a little bit. But this this is Mrs. Peacock. It's made out of shells. It came from the Orient, and you can see uh, the feet are made out of shells. It's just a beautiful peacock. It's not a peacock. Okay, Neil. It's a peahen. Can you say peahen? Peahen. Peahen. Because the ladies, are, you know, we we guys are always we are, but you girls sometimes you want to pick yourself all up, you know. So this is a peahen, and so the sermon to you kids this morning are simply this: We've got Mrs. Peahen wants to talk to the children, and she's going to take her cue from Jesus. So this is the peahen that came to our backyard a long time ago, and I thought that was pretty cool. Anyway, so today here's a picture of her, and what does she have falling, falling in her behind her? Her little kids. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. So, if you can see this little peacock here, she takes her little chickens. Yeah, yeah, that's Mrs. Peacock. And she's got her little kids. That's got you. Maybe that's, maybe that's one of you. Anyway, she takes them for a walk, and they all fall in line. Have you ever seen? Maybe you have not. But sometimes kids follow their parents in a line. 
Well, <laughs> yes. <laughs> but that's what that's what the peahen does. The Mrs. Mrs. Chicken. She she has her little kids and they follow her behind, and they they and she watches them and she and she takes her cue from Jesus because she wants them to follow her and she's following Jesus and Jesus wants you kids and adults as well to follow him and so the other day I was on the beach walking which I do five times a week getting my mail at Cayucas and I was walking along the way and there was this lady and she was walking and she had some little kids behind her and they were following her and that's pretty cool they were following her because that's what they should do. That's what they, and you know, that's what we should do. We should follow Jesus because he says, come and follow me. Well, the second thing is this. The mom says, hey, guys and gals, don't <coughs> stray away from me. Stay close to me because, oh, it's danger. There's a lot of danger out there. So you kids, you know, you got to stay close to Jesus, and that's why Mrs. Peahen takes her cue from Jesus to stay close to him. Stay close to Jesus. Stay close. Another thing that this little mother does, sometimes, have you ever been hungry? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Any of you ever been hungry? Yes. yes. Thank you. I got one hand. <laughs> Uh, like the guy in uh, Pakistan, a country far away from here, wrote me yesterday. He said, I got people around here that are so very hungry. Well, anyway, the mother hen wants so much to feed her kids, so sometimes she will boing, 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 pick something out of the ground, open your mouth, and feed her. Okay? All right, that's what, that's what the mother does. So, takes the cue from Jesus. Jesus feeds us. Now, when you kids grow older, we adult kids know this. It's so important to read the Bible and, and feed from the Word of God. So, the important thing is Mrs. Peacock sees, speaks to you today, but the other important thing is what Mr. Peacock says with all the great feathers. Okay, let me show you these feathers. The reason I want to show you the feathers is this. The peacock... Mr. Peacock sort of represents eternal life in all of these eyes. And so while Mrs. Peacock speaks as she does, as she has to you beautiful kids and to the adult kids as well, so this Mr. Peacock speaks of eternity in heaven where Nancy is and where we all are going to go someday if you've got your ticket. And the way you get your ticket is to believe in Jesus and when you believe in Jesus, you get to go to heaven. And then you're following him. Just like these little kids followed their mother down the road. <laughs> Follow me, okay? Thank you for coming. We'll see you when I do, okay? Good job, Papa. God bless. <laughs>